Joe Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Souls Fair, Maryland. Um, I'm not wearing one of my pressure washing shirts because I'm out here working in the shop. And it is hot. Uh, we're in a heat wave right now. Um, it's literally like 92 degrees and it's like 1130 to 1130 at night. And if you're on the East Coast, you know how bad our humidity is. If you're on the middle of the country and West, you just don't get it. Uh, when it's like this, I mean, I'm freaking sweating through this. So... Anyways, um, I see this happen on a regular basis where guys are having issues with their proportioner. Hey, I keep have, keep losing prime. Um, you know, something's broken inside the proportioner. I know it. I know something's wrong there. And it's always funny because, and in talking with power wash store people and also a lot of other contractors that use them, it's always, always, always an air leak. Somewhere in the system, there's a crack there's a loose fitting, um, one way, or shape, or another. Um, you know, air is getting into the system, and air is the enemy of it, whether it's 12 volt, booster, air, whatever you have. Um, it will mess you up. So that's why when you have your lines coming into the proportioner, uh, your water, your bleach, your soap, and all that, you look through them. You always make those clear. Our, pro, our flush valve, doesn't matter. When you're flushing your bleach line with water, doesn't matter if there's air bubbles getting in there. As long as water is getting through, coming out the other end, you're good to go. But, so I went to take the box truck. We just got it back from getting the transmission replaced on it and kept having issues. I was like, what's going on with this? Why do I keep, why am I getting air in there? I've, I've even shut the water line off, shut the soap valve off, and run the bleach full open. I'm still getting air into it. And I don't think that I've finished making the other video uh, of the same basic issue that we had with our um, drop-in skid uh, that we were having issues where air bubbles were getting to the bleach line. But you start from square one. Look for leaks. So in ours, um, whatever, let me show you here. see in here and well whatever so there's our proportioner and let's get let's get inside here so you can actually see a little bit more oh. all right so the clear line that's our bleach line orange is our water line and we put a big W on the other side of the orange so you can tell that so it comes out of that connector comes up goes up and that's where you see that 90 fitting that usually goes right into the top of a bleach tank and if you look close you'll see yeah, it looks like there's some leaky residue some bleach stuff there all right so we check first and foremost for leaks do we see any leaks or any residue down there no nothing on there looks like we're good to go here if you're getting air in your system you're gonna see water coming out uh, most times especially if you've got it sitting in there for a while so check this, make sure there wasn't any other leaks all the way over. That connection looked good, other than, again, the top of it's got some, some leakage out there, which could even just be from my guys spilling stuff. So I'll take you back to the shop here. Hold on one second. All right. So after dealing with the other uh, proportioner and, and uh, air diaphragm pump and having to keep resetting it, seeing the air bubbles in there, there's some weird bugs out here right now. So you know what? Let's go ahead and take the manifold or take the uh, pickup tube and the bulkhead out. So a real quick trick on this, loosen the, uh, the top part uh, of your bulkhead. Let me see. Hold on. All right. So this is the inside portion of it. This is your top nut. So take that and just loosen it just a little bit. You don't want to take it all the way off yet. Um, can't because you got this, you know, hose barb in there. Let's just whatever. You got a hose barb in this. The goal here is to first get that 90 out of it. So while this is still going, we can still spin this thing around. This all is now spinning freely because we we loosen this and it doesn't want to self tighten on itself. So we're able to just untwist this, or whatever direction it's going to be. Sorry, it's 
<laughs> not hot right now. But you can get that 90 degree fitting off without having to take it off the hose barb, without having to, to undo a bunch of stuff. All we have to do is re Teflon it and put it back in. So then once that 90's off, you go ahead and take your uh, fitting again, take that all the way off now. Remember it's reverse, so righty loosey. Take that off, set that aside. This is gonna be the new replacement bulk, bulkhead and take the whole thing out. I'm gonna reach in, make sure you don't drop it in there. Uh, but it's a lot easier to work on this pipe outside of the system versus install your bulkhead, then try and reach in awkwardly and twist it on there and stuff. It's, it's just not as fun. Um, so this one, we kinda had to fudge it on the 100 gallon water dragon tank when we were installing it. We just didn't have the right length pickup tube. So we've got uh, about a three foot and a 18. Um, and unfortunately, the other one which we also have the pickup filters on, as you can see, is about a foot too long. So we're gonna find a different way to use. But what I wanna show you, and hopefully, hopefully we can get you to be able to see this. Let's see. So, really, really small cracks in there. Sorry, folks. Having technical difficulties. I'm going to go ahead and thread it in even more so you'll really see this. Okay. See that crack now? That crack goes all the way through there. All I did was I just went ahead and tightened this more. This is also why you don't want to over tighten your plastic fittings into each other because either this piece is going to break or that piece is going to break. It's not designed to keep threading into it. <coughs> oh. So that's our obvious leak right here. It was just a hairline crack in it. Um, but now we have fully and actually I'll break it the whole way. And oh, I'm hot and sweaty. Whatever, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing off. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find a replacement piece for this pickup tube to make it all one, but I mean, quite frankly, it's been the same hose connection in there for the last 12 to 14 months, something like that. And it's been okay. Um, but that's all it takes. This was a very small crack before I finished it the rest of the way off. Um, you know, if, if you want to really see in there, just that was a little bit smaller than that. But that's all it takes. Because if you don't have a 100% seal on that, that lets air in. And when that air gets let in, then the bleach is let out. It doesn't hold that suction. So, and it could even just be the matter that, you know, if you're trying to, well, try to suck on, through a straw that's got a hole in it, well, once it gets above the liquid, you can't get as good a suction. And so that's going to end up causing issues with your proportioner system. Uh, and again, if you're using a knockoff or whatever, it's the same situation. It, you have to have full suction, no air in there, and that's why we prime these different pumps. So check for your obvious things first. Your fittings coming to the inlet of your different bleach water and soap. If you see air bubbles there, if you see leaking there, take it out first. <clears throat> Actually, sorry. Do a quarter turn real quick and just see if that stops it. <clears throat> Don't keep tightening and tightening and tightening it and thinking that that's going to stop it. Don't take it out and put six wraps of Teflon tape on it. About two, three, four revolutions is plenty. Um, you don't want to overdo it because again, what that does is that swells those threads and it makes it more likely to crack. Um, when you've got, again, plastic, the point of the Teflon is to let you get it in a little bit further and make it slide a little bit better. So we've got, again, our new ones here. We'll take the, uh, gasket off of it, hook it back in there and 
be up and running tomorrow. Um, because if you're in the field, what we did the other day is literally took the thing out. I had a half inch ball valve, a PVC ball valve, threaded it onto here, threaded it onto that 90 degree fitting. Again, we do the 90 to the ball valve first and then thread it to this because I can spin this sucker around all day long in the bottom of the tank. Uh, which one other tip with this, when you're putting these into your tanks, drill the hole so that it's more centrally located. Don't try and put it in a corner. You want it to be closer to the center, not necessarily the middle middle of the tank, but you know, if it's 12 inches wide, put it six inches in there and put it six inches away from the side from that end. That way you can spin this thing around both without breaking it. Um, but that way it's just going to make things a lot easier. So anyways, we're going to put this back in there. We'll test it tomorrow make sure, but Again, until you find the culprit, keep looking. And guys, the other thing you can do with this is you can take some surfactant, take a little bit of your, you know, whatever house wash mix you use, just your soap, a little bit of water, and literally you can put it on your hands or soak it, spray it, whatever, over your whole system or whatever tube, and then look for air bubbles. As you run your machine, it's going to, again, let air in or out, water in or out, or whatever solution it is and you'll be able to then see where that's leaking out of to identify solve the problem and get back to making money last but not least folks have extra bulkheads on hand um, when the last one broke i ordered like three of every size we've got half inch three quarter and uh, one inch bulkheads uh, for our bleach pickups these are all half inch on this air diaphragm pump system we run three quarter on our boosters um, as long as your water and your bleach side have the same size id hose what and that's the same length you'll be fine have a great night see ya